I'm Cinder, and today I'll be starting a new series I'm calling Confessions of Cinder Collie RN, where I talk about some of the troubles I deal with working as a nurse. So let's begin, shall we? Number one, pain. Ah yes, the pain scale. It's very old, but the only way for me to know how much you're hurting is for me to use this subjective scale from zero to ten. Zero being no pain, ten being the worst pain you can imagine. Now, if you tell me that you're at 10 out of 10 pain, but you're sitting there texting to your friends and laughing, I'm probably not going to believe you. Trust me, I've seen 10 out of 10 pain. That's not it. Please be honest about your pain when I ask you. Trust me, if you're honest with me, I will make your stay as comfortable as I can. Number two, pain seekers. Yes, unfortunately, we deal with a lot of people who like to abuse the system to try to get more pain medication. Honestly, we're not a rehab facility. If you have the medicine available, you're going to get it. So be honest with me and don't try to trick me. I'm on to you. Number three, male patients. Now, this one might rub some people the wrong way, but you guys, you guys are the biggest babies in the world. Honestly, I can give you the smallest needle stick and it'll just be the end of the world for you. Meanwhile, my 90-year-old female, she's doing just fine getting the same stuff you're getting. So please, guys, get it together. Number four, male nurses. Yes, I'm a male nurse. Yes, I really wanted to do this. No, I didn't drop out of med school. No, I'm not just going to go become a PA. This is really what I want to do. Number five, poop. I see so much poop every day everywhere from everyone no nobody told me nobody told me there'd be this much poop nobody warned me why didn't anybody warn me number six your last bm yes seriously i really need to know when you had your last bowel movement please just tell me number seven body fluids i have seen just about every fluid that can come out of a human body and I've gotten most of it on me at some point or another. Ugh. Ugh. It's gross. Number eight, walking barefoot in the hospital. All those body fluids that I just talked about, a lot of them end up on the floor. You wouldn't want to walk around in a locker room without some sandals. Please don't walk around the hospital barefoot. It's really nasty. Number nine, gross talks over meals. As you can tell, I've seen a lot of nasty stuff which means I'm perfect for dinner parties. If you want to hear about all my stories, let's go grab some chocolate ice cream and I'll tell you the meaning of finger painting. And finally, number 10, the Q word. Please, please, don't ever, ever say the Q word in the hospital. It's a cursed word that only brings pain and suffering to those who work there. So please don't ever say it. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Confessions of Cinder Collie RN. I have plenty more to talk about, so if you enjoyed this, please let me know. Until next time, bye!